Hey guys, and welcome back to some more One Finger Death Punch. So, as stated before, we are going to be completing these levels up here. So, this might be a little bit uh, easy compared to what I'm usually used to. So, hopefully I can do well. I already know about red enemies. See, that's, that's the problem with going back levels. Oops, I pressed that early. These bars will show you exactly what you need to press in order to defeat multi-hit enemies. Get my arrows. Arrows and daggers, so OP in this game. Oh, that move that kills all the enemies on screen. I had to go back. I want to complete every level in this game, so... They're like, oh, look! It's a new red enemy! Don't be intimidated! It's like you've never fought them before, right? Like, no, I have. <laughs> Damn it! <clears throat> I missed some crap time that time. Like usual, gotta get used to playing the game again. Oh, okay. Defend around. I don't like defender rounds. I really don't see the point of them. So like a glorified easy map round. It's like, hey, instead of punching all the crap out of these enemies in one hit, how about you just get the feet around? Oh, there's a new skill right there. I didn't know that was a new skill right there. Nope, I messed that up. Once again, the smoke bombs always mess me up. Faster. Round two. I guess it's the whole point of having that guy there with the smoke bomb, so you can just throw that three hit guy. I'm coming from different sides. Alright, some guys are coming faster than others. Yeah, you just messed up my smooth mid groove up in here. And so, uh, usually I'll hit that guy, get the smoke bomb, and throw it at the red guy. But the red guy didn't even show up by the time I got the smoke bomb. Like, ridiculous. Alright, let's go ahead and get this new skill. We're killing 115 enemies, of course. Look at this. To unlock this new skill, you have to have a truly challenging thing. You have to beat 115 enemies. Scary, isn't it? Like, no, I've done that before. You know, I've done that plenty of times. I'm chill with it, actually. Everybody get it. Give me that weapon. They're like, oh my god, how is he so good in this round? It's like he he's it's like he advanced to other stages past this one and has done them before, so therefore he is stronger and better here. Ooh. Get kicked. Get kicked, bitch. Everybody get it. Nope. Get kicked, bitch. <laughs> yeah. Give him my new skill. Light him up. I said that you can strike enemies out of your firing range without missing your new firing. Uh, no, I'm good. 
I have that thing that kills all enemies on the screen for 37, this is 32, and the ice is on one side for 27. And I'm good. Thanks for the new skill though, I'm gonna collect them all. Like, it's like Pokemon up in here. Okay, I get it. Okay, I, I, okay, I fought yellow enemies before. Okay, dude, dude, shut up. I, I got it. I know how to fight yellow enemies. I fought them before. Like, you don't know how to fight the yellow enemies. Like, I do. I fought them before. You have to fight the yellow Asian people, I mean yellow enemies. <laughs> they didn't care, they're like, oh yeah, beat, beat some Asian people, huh? When I block that weapon and it goes flying off, hitting other enemies and messes up my groove. Destroy him! Destroy him. <laughs> Damn, I'm like punching and kicking, punching. Give me that weapon, cut this nigga up. Destroy him. Like, why? Another mob round. Bring it. Sometimes this game can be really difficult, and other times this game is so chill, yet addicting. Get your heart pushed out. All up in your rib cage, you don't even know what to do with it. Everybody gets some the bitch pudding. Wow, I need that move on like one enemy. <laughs> I thought I had the dagger for that enemy. Oh, excuse me, would you like to dance? Everybody get some of it. Clearly, at some enemies on the screen that are farther than I can see. Because when I do that deep impact, people are dying that aren't even on the screen for me. I guess they're like, as soon as they walk out, they're like, ah! Oh, it's the boss round. Uh, drunken fist. so drunk, you can't defeat my drunken fist. Sit down. And get back up, I can knock you back down again. Get down. I got the power of the drunk fist. Oh, that was easy. Oh, okay, so I guess this goes down here and connects to here. Alright, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh oh, speed round. Speed round. And speed rounds are crazy. Speed rounds are so crazy. I love them though. They're hard. I love so much action. It's like, everybody get their ass beat now! <laughs> ah! Sit down. Ooh. 
trying to get it done. Oh, alright, so we'll do. Oh, another speed round. We'll do these two levels and then we'll go ahead and call next up. Damn, the red enemies, uh, they take too long to kill. This speed round sucks more than the last freaking speed round. Oh. So many damn red enemies. <laughs> I just doing Kung Fu Panda on that ass. I just beat everybody up there. Alright, and then the last stage right here. What's a survival round? Oh, uh, if they reward me with a victory no matter what, then why the hell am I freaking doing this stage? There's no point. There's literally no point. Alright, so, uh... Yeah, we'll quickly just do this smash round, because I thought I was going to do one more enemy. I mean, one more enemy. One more stage. Since that was kind of a cop-out. But survival round, just you just get everything. You're, you're cool, man. Like, no, 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 no. Give me an objective. If you don't give me an objective, I don't care. Fuck these smash rounds. Damn, I hit him through all the objects. I don't like Smash Rounds. But, you gotta do them. Literally, it's just like fighting regularly, except you're like punching people through shit. So, we're gonna be continuing down this path, I guess, yeah? So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of One Finger Death Punch. So, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I'll see you guys next time another episode of One Finger Death Punch. Thanks for watching.